So it's National Financial Awareness Day. And today on Cashing In, it's all about co-signing loans. We're talking student loans, home loans, car loans. The list goes on. So when should you or should you at all? Joining me now is financial advisor Dan Hernandez of Milestone Wealth Management. So we brought in the big guns to talk about these types of things. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you coming in. All right, so tell us about, there's so many loans that we were just talking about. Tell us about some of the loans that people may need someone to co-sign for. Well, certainly somebody who uh, doesn't have good credit or is just starting out, they're, they're, they would probably need a co-signer for a student loan, a car loan, a mortgage. You know, so anything, uh, anything big like that, not necessarily credit cards, but, but student loans, car loans, mortgages, someone with, with no credit or questionable credit will probably need a co-signer for something like that. So the people with the questionable credit, that, that has been me, full disclosure, know about asking for help, but the people who are co-signing don't always know about what goes into that. So if someone co-signs, they're responsible for the loan, I am? Yeah, I mean, so co-signing is, is a bigger responsibility than people realize sometimes. I mean, just think about it, best case scenario, everything goes well. You co-sign a loan for somebody and they make their payments on time and everything's good. That, that person that co-signed still has this loan on their credit. So it, their debt to income ratio, which is a thing that affects your, your credit score, is affected. Okay. Yeah, you have outstanding loans, that affects your credit score. So best case scenario, you know, your credit score so, still goes down a little bit and it's affected. And that's if everything goes really well. Yeah. Also, you're talking about them, the other person, paying it, but at the end of the day, the cosigner is financially responsible. Absolutely. If something okay. happens to, uh, to that loan, and, and look, there's a lot of stuff. It's not malicious. It's, you know, people lose their jobs. They, they get divorced. They, they get sick, which affects their ability to pay that loan. That's going to come back on the cosigner, and that cosigner ultimately is going to be responsible. And you also, or do you, I'll ask, not tell, because I don't know. You have a limited amount of credit that a lot of people can get. So if I sign for somebody else, even if I'm not paying it, the banks think that I'm responsible. Absolutely. For it. So the banks, uh, you know, they have they have all these ratios that they look at, and one of them is debt to income. So based on your income, you're right. There's only so much credit anyone's going to extend you. So if you're co-signing a loan on on that debt to income ratio, it's your debt. So that's additional debt that you have that you're responsible for. Even though you're not making the monthly payments from their point of view, it's still, it's still your debt. All right, so it sounds like there's a whole lot of responsibilities that go there. Yeah. So if you decide to do this, kind of what's your recommendation? Only do it for family? Like, who do you do this for? Yeah, I mean, generally, look, um, if you're co-signing a loan for somebody, it's somebody that's important to you. You know, they're going to be a family member. They're going to be a close friend. So. Uh, you know, just be careful, be, uh, be aware. You know, I'm not saying okay. don't do it, because again, you're doing it for somebody that needs it and, and someone that's important to you. So do it, but just be aware of the ramifications, stay vigilant with that person, make sure they're okay, make sure they're, they're staying on top of it. Because there really aren't, and I guess my last question, there really aren't any safeguards. Like once you do this contractually, that's on you, so be prepared. Absolutely. The bank, you know, the, the bank has you as a co-signer for a reason. And the reason is if, if that, um, you know, primary borrower has an issue, they're coming back to you. So, no, it's, it's not, you know, <laughs> it's not nothing. I mean, they're, you're there for a reason, and that's for the bank to collect from if they need to. So think about it. We appreciate the information. I did not know all of this when I asked somebody to co-sign for me. I did have this information when I co-signed with <laughs> yeah, somebody good. else. So we appreciate you. Thanks for sharing it. Thanks no. for coming in this no, morning. No, thanks for having me. I'll have you back again yep. soon. Thank you so much.